Hello, and welcome to today's training on how to use the Access Online Provider Portal to verify member eligibility and enrollment. In today's training, we'll discuss why it's important to check a member's eligibility and enrollment, and show you how easy it is to use the Access Online Provider Portal to check member eligibility and enrollment. So without further ado, let us get started. So first, why is it important to verify a member's enrollment? Well, it's vital to verify a member's enrollment accurately to ensure the following, that a claim is submitted to the correct health plan, that the provider follows appropriate rules and regulations, such as PA requirements of a member's enrolled health plan, some access members may qualify to change their health plan of enrollment at any time, and a member's enrollment may change from one visit to the next, even if you've seen and provided services to that member recently. It's important to note that while Access Division of Fee-for-Service Management, DFSM, processes claims for members enrolled in a fee-for-service program, such as the American Indian Health Program, Tribal Altex, or ATREPA, it does not process claims for members enrolled in an ACC health plan. If a claim for a member enrolled in an ACC health plan is sent to Access DFSM, the claim will deny. Verifying a member's enrollment accurately allows a provider to know where to submit a claim. It is a healthcare providers who are responsible for verifying the eligibility of a member. Each time the member schedules an appointment and at the time when any physical or behavioral health service is provided. Healthcare providers must verify the member's eligibility and enrollment status, including when a member presents an access ID card or decision letter from an eligibility agency. There are several methods for checking for member eligibility and enrollment. However, we do recommend using the Access Online Provider Portal as the quickest and easiest way to check for member enrollment and eligibility. With that being said, let me show you how to do that. To check a member's eligibility and enrollment, you'll first need to go to the Access website at www.azaccess.gov. Here, you'll notice a burgundy toolbar. Select the Plans and Providers tab, and on the left, select Access Online. Once you select Access Online, it will bring you to the Access Online Provider Portal sign-in page. Simply enter your username and password and click Sign In. Once signed in, it will bring you to the main page. You'll notice that on the left, a menu with different options. Since we will check a member's enrollment and eligibility, we will select Member Verification. This will bring up the recipient search screen. We can choose to either search for a recipient or newborn. Today we'll search for a recipient and we can choose the way in which we would like to search for our recipient. We can choose access ID and date of birth, last name, date of birth, and social security number, access ID, name, and date of birth, and so on. Today we will choose access ID and date of birth. This will bring you to some search fields. Notice the red asterisks. Red asterisks indicate a required field. Here, we're gonna enter the member's access ID number. This ID number will begin with the capital letter A and followed by eight numerical digits. Now we will enter the date of birth using a two digit month, two digit day, and four digit year format. Once we're done entering information, we will click on search. This will bring us to the eligibility and enrollment screen. Here we have many fields with a lot of information. A requested data field will show us the information we put into the previous screen. Our return data will find the member. It will show us the access ID number, the date of birth, the gender, and the member's first and last name. The demographics field will show us the member's address. Now, to check a member's eligibility and enrollment, we will check out the eligibility field and the medical enrollment field at the bottom. First, let's take a look at the eligibility field. Here, we can see if a member is eligible for access covered services. 
we can see that the eligibility group description is acute. And in this example, the insurance type for this member is Medicaid. Now, to see if they are eligible, we can look at the begin and end dates of service. Here we see January 1st, 2021 as the begin date and January 31st, 2021 as the end date. Since currently the date is between these two dates, our member is eligible for access covered services. Looking at the added on date will tell us when the member was added into the system. Next, we can check what kind of services the member is enrolled with under the medical enrollment field. On the left is the health plan ID and description. This is the name of the recipient's health plan. We can see that the recipient is in a fee for service regular health plan. You also have an option to select service type codes so simply click on this link and I'll tell you what those codes are here. Next, we can see if they're currently enrolled by looking at the period start and period end dates. Here, we can see the member started on 119 of 2021. Notice that there's no period end date. This means the member is currently enrolled. However, if there was a specific end date here, that will just indicate when enrollment will end for this member. Next, we have our rate code. This in indicates the capitation payment method at the time of payment. Over here, we have our contract type. This indicates the service the health plan is covering. In this example, it's ACC and fee for service. And last, we have our insurance type. We can see this member is with Medicaid. So to summarize, by looking at the begin and end dates in the eligibility and medical enrollment fields, we can see if a member is currently enrolled and eligible for access services. We can also determine the member's health plan to indicate where we need to submit a claim. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you and have a great day.